Ready? Hello and welcome to the Dead Air Dudes. I'm Izzy. I'm Raka, and you are Dead Air Dudes Nation, dudes and dudettes alike. Welcome, Dead Air Dudes Nation, once again to another episode of the Bad Juju series, where we will discuss a East Coast uh, mainstay, you know, within the whole, you know, mysterious, spooky, creepy, you know, Clinton Road and here in beautiful New Jersey. <laughs> Raka, you want to take it away? Land of the swamps. Okay, guys. So I'm sure every state, every place has their own <sighs> cursed physical location, haunted house, uh, place where we we don't dare cross because of demons, a suspected ghost, and bad juju. And here in the New York metropolitan area, there is a place close by. It's located in New Jersey. And it's a stretch of road called Clinton Road. Yeah, it's in uh, West Milford, Passaic County. It basically runs north to south, beginning at Route 23. And it runs roughly, what, 10 miles, give or take, to the end of Upper Greenwood Lake. The beginning of summer 23. So in this in this season of Halloween, right? Yeah. There's a lot of urban legends out there. There's a lot of myths. There's a lot of um taboo. A lot of things they say don't do, do. And as we have ventured into the world of I would uh, well, we call it bad juju and dark arts or strange arts or whatever, mystical, you whatever you want to call it. We dabble. And we're dabbling here because, you know, we're just investigators and this is in our backyard. Hey, man. Yeah, exactly. We, uh, yeah, exactly. This is, we're all about this shit, you know, bottom line. So that's it. Um, a quick fun fact, which, you know, I'm not sure many of you guys know. It's the long, it's the longest red light in the U.S. It has the longest red, like uh, like tra tra traffic light in the U.S., clocking it over five minutes. Just, Any reason? Just a fun fact. I really don't know. I mean, you know, now, maybe it's tribute to uh, <laughs> all well, the the terror. It's it, there, and uh, there's several like. Several different things have happened or can happen during, throughout, you know, on Clinton Road. You have the story of the Druidic Temple. You have the story of the ghost truck. You have the story of Cross Castle. And of course, you have the story of the Ghost Boy Bridge. You want to go with the Ghost, ghost Boy Bridge first? Because that seems to be the biggest hitter. Shoot, go for it. All right, so probably of the most notoriety is a stretch of road near the bridge where we don't know the origins of the rumor. There's one story we can allude to. Yeah. Where a passerby stop and they throw a penny or quarter or something into the river. It's, it's quite a distance. And they say the moment you hear the coin drop into the water, a ghost boy will appear and return you a penny. It may freak you out more is that you're all three, you throw a coin, all you're waiting for somebody to pop up is someone behind you, a little boy taps you and gives you a freaking penny. I, I don't know, you run and you fall, you die into the ditch all the way to the river or, or you, you ditch the car, you just start hauling ass and book out of there. I don't know. Something like that would freak the hell out of me. Um, there have been cited origins of I guess a prank or a dare. Yeah. A group of boys left a boy on a bridge. They said, we're going to jet down to Route 23 and come back. And when they came back, the boy was dead. Um, rumors, oh, uh, uh, different combinations of this legend also describe the boy at midnight returning a penny onto the ground near, uh, near this bridge. 
we don't know whether a boy has died, drowned, or something in the yeah, early early. Or is it that a boy drowned, fell to his death? Now, did you hear the one where supposedly you go to the area of the of, of where the bridge is at and you put a quarter in the middle of the road where the yellow line is at? You know, and uh, it's actually the bridge over Clinton Brook near Dead Man's Curve. Dead Man's Curve. And, and you do this at midnight, okay? <laughs> so it's very specific. You do it at midnight, it will prompt the return of, a, of the boy who supposedly drowned while swimming. Or half off the bridge. I mean, it, it depends who tells the, the, tells the thing. Now, I mean... The and the, and the crazy thing about it is that supposedly also, if a car is coming, the boy will push you off the bridge. Yes. Either. Now, now, I know, now whether it's to save you or whether it's not to, to make you drown, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having... You know. regardless, regardless of the national coin shortage, I find many other things to do with my loose change and especially my quarters. But I tell you, I don't know if I'm going to be loaded with rosary beads, holy water, and crucifixes because we intend to go down there at some point and investigate these myths, legends, rumors, whatnot. Um, and we'll do it all and we get a chance. I don't know. Uh, you might hear a tone of raucous voice you've never heard before reaching soprano alto. If I turn around and there's a boy there, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know. I might have to wear the heavy duty Depends that night. And it, you'll see, it'll be like, you know, it'll be like, like in the cartoons. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's pretty creepy, man. <laughs> Freaking river, man. Let him go after that shit. Holy cow. Now, what do you, now, all right. When I read about, when I researched and I read about the ghost truck, it kind of reminded me of uh, that scene in Jeepers Creepers where they're driving on the road and you have this big ass truck coming behind them and, and, rah, rah, and it's like, they're going to push you off the road, going to push you off the road. And, and then, you know, except the whole, you know, demonic creature with the bats and the whole, the whole nine yards, you know, you can't, you know, that's or, a whole different. Or Duel. Du dumb. Yes, Duel. That's a classic. A classic, classic book too. I've read um, again, Matheson. If you guys haven't read it, you're missing out, man. You're missing out. You're missing out. You're missing out. Now, uh, what can you tell us about the Druid, the Druid, the Druidic temple? Druidic temples. Let's see. Why don't you start us off? I'm gonna go through my notes here. Basically, um, it's a uh, it they since debunked it to a degree they, they they they're saying it's um it's a smelter an iron smelter built in 1826 so they've currently fenced it off but supposedly the structure you could hear voices and a lot of pagan worshiping and satanists and all kinds of stuff where they were saying that people would you know it'd be it'd be a, it'd be a lot of a a lot of crazy stuff been going on, you know what I mean? And every, you know, and everything, if you look too closely, bad things would happen to you and, you know, all kinds of stuff, all, all kinds of stuff like that. So since then, you can actually, you could actually pass by and it's been, it's been, it's, it's actually fenced off and closed off. So you can't go it's in. It's fenced off by the New York Water Department, I guess. I guess they dub it as prevent any entrance of people, but I'm sure they had just too much of their fair share of, Oh. Of foul play and and, and, you had, and you had all you probably had all these freaking you know all the all the kids and all everybody freaking you know wanting to freaking mess around and and go and visit the druidic temple and see all the bullshit and you know I mean hey it's Halloween man and you have and it's a local it's a local legend and it's easy to get to it's, it's uh, a magnet it's a magnet for all all things just like us it's a magnet for us. But now that you've mentioned that, okay, so yes, it, along those same lines of who it attracts, um, satanic cults, mm -hmm. the KKK has been cited to maybe use it for some other meetings or assemblies or whatnot. A um, mm -hmm. uh, bunch of, I guess, individual sects of cults, fans who 
they dub it to be a spiritual place, so they might congregate there. Um, it's been rumored as well to be a spot where professional killers, we'll leave it at that, has they have made their hit there and dropped off um, the end products. Well, um, and you mentioned considering that. it's, a, it's a, a place that nobody wants to search. Who knows? Um, there's, you know, the ghost truck you've alluded to. Before, let's get back to the to the killers. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Ice Man was essentially caught because of a body on Clinton Road. Really? I'm trying. I'm trying to find uh to find my notes here. But uh. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm I'm pretty sure that uh they found a body, and that's how they linked it to uh. I mean, of course, they went the whole fact that the the body was found with shards of ice in the heart, and ergo that you know with the whole legend and everything. But then they come to find out that he was dumping bodies all over the freaking place over there, and so yeah. yeah. They found body bags. They found uh, a lot of corpses. I mean. There's there's rumors, there's hearsay, there's fabricated folklore, and then there's real freaking bodies. In addition to bodies, they've also unearthed certain animals, a lot of animals. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, let's not let's not forget. Let's get to that. Well, because they are right, check this out, guys, guys and gals. There was a a wildlife um, jeez, what's the name? A jungle. It was a jungle habitat. Okay. So supposedly, somewhere along the lines, when they closed it down, whatever, animals broke out, and they started crossbreeding, and therefore, yeah, that's where you have all these uh, uh um, crazy Splice? creatures and what? Say again? The movie Splice was it filmed there? Yeah, exactly. And you have all all the you know, yeah, crossbreeding and all these uh. Well, they say black bears and poisonous snakes have been present in the West Milford Woods. Um, more recently, coyotes have infiltrated the landscape. Um, they threat the eco balance of the ecosystem in the immediate area, which, of course, borders Clinton Road. Uh, beware of grayish white wolves and red with red and yellow eyes. I mean, so with everybody else that's been cited there, I guess the werewolf is added onto the list. Yeah. And There's a legend of a floating dog. Uh, have you read that one? No, no. It, it regale us in, in, this, uh, in this tale of... Uh, it, it's, uh, this okay, tale. so we're just rattling off all the craziness that we've unearthed here. One legend states that Cross Castle be rebuilds itself every October 30th. And that the KKK sacrifice. I have not heard that. That's a good one. And they, the KKK, the Klan sacrifices a goat there. Um, okay. Every time somebody goes down Clinton Road on October 30th, they'd be extra quiet to hear a goat. <laughs> and anybody be suspicious of anybody wearing white sheets in the area. Also, if you happen to see a castle pop up, please call your local authorities immediately. Actually, the castle is there. I've seen, actually, you know, I've researched, I've seen plenty a YouTube video where <laughs> there you go. have, <laughs> driven, have <laughs> driven down Clinton Road. And supposedly it's legitimate. I mean, hey, look, it's a pretty popular thing to do. To even do the 11 mile ritual on Clinton Road. Well, sir, now that you've opened up that gateway but to hell, before please we do the 11 mile ritual, let's finish up Cross Castle. Okay. I was, I was, um, <laughs> uh, in, in 1905, Richard Cross built a, ca a, a Castillon near the reservoir for his wife and three children. Now, there was a fire and the whole thing, you know, kind of, you know, went, you know, went to shit. And that's, I guess, how people keep thinking, keep, keep thinking that it keeps rebuilding itself. Now, 
lots of hikers go there and whatever. And people have gone to visit the castle and they have, they start, they, bad things start happening to them. They have start having seizures. They start having bruises all over their body and, and just to have, just feeling terrible, you know, having strange, disturbing visions. And then there's satanic symbols all over the place, appearing on the castle walls in inaccessible areas, meaning in the middle of freaking somewhere where you, where you would not see a satanic symbol that you can't reach it. So, you know, it wouldn't be just some kids freaking scribbling some, you know, some, some chicken scratch on the wall. No, but that bears interest in maybe in the future, we will not so much dabble as far as provide you guys with instruction, but we might look deeper and drill down to the, in the granular level, um, certain satanic endeavors. Uh, well, it's on the table. People. I got one. Last, I got one last one. You, have you heard the, the one about the couch, the couch story? No, I have not heard the couch story. Well, supposedly on Clinton Road, if you see a nice couch, do not stop <laughs> and sit on the couch. Okay. <laughs> because the people who should not be named live in the forest and they will come and get you. Because you're sitting on their couch, goddamn you. Well, that, you know, I mean, it's, it's it's with that line. Get off my. It's desk. such an inviting I mean, couch that people will go and sit sit on that couch. Well, and then, you know what? I can I can understand it if you go for a good eleven mile hike, like the whole road. I can see you getting a little tired, and you're like, oh, well, there's a couch. Well, what an opportunistic, you know, moment to rest. Well, there you go. The one last thing to add, of course, it would not be complete after mentioning the mafia. Satan, the clan, dead bodies, rituals, penny throws, rebuilt castles. And the couch. But there have also been icing on the cake now with all the sprinkles. There have also been alien encounters. Why not? I mean, you know. So the, the, we, we're just, now is the last washer and nut bolt for the kitchen sink. And we're tossing it. You hear that metal pinging? So even in Castle, even in Clinton Road, there have been numerous sightings of UFOs. Um, hundreds of blue, red, and white lights have been, uh, of course, wouldn't be the cops, right? But they have been <laughs> noted. Never that. Noted buzzing around Clinton Road. Very, very interesting. So having now covered basically everything that folklore has prescribed. Izzy will lead us now towards the challenge. Okay. Now, when I researched this, I had never heard of it before, which I'm kind of kind of upset that, you know, that I did I didn't know about this. Now supposedly within the eleven mile ritual, it is said that if you truly desire something enough, then you can find this road. Now it is a step-by-step -step direction of what to do, you know, during the road and what happens at every, I guess, at every uh, mile, you know, whatever, you know, which essentially at the end of the 11 mile ritual, whatever that you wished you will be, you know, will be granted, you know? So since, uh, you know, Clinton Road is just about 11 miles, heck, people have done the 11 mile ritual on Clinton Road. All right. I mean, should, should we go through the whole freaking thing or, you know, just, just give you a no, quick... No, let's go for it. Uh, this is something I think we have to go into great detail. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. First off, you have to be by yourself when doing this ritual, okay? Meaning just you in a car, in a car that you probably do not like or that you don't care if it gets destroyed, Okay. Oh, I don't like it already. All right. So you have to choose a time when no one is on the road. You have to, it has to be a road that's surrounded by wood. That's why Clinton Road works so well here. Now, you cannot use the radio, so the radio must be off, okay? You cannot use your cell phone 
you know, meaning or talk on the phone. So you have to be alone in the car, no animals or anything, and you cannot open your windows of said car. Okay, you can use the heat and or AC because you will need it later on when things get bad. Okay. And hell's mouth opens up and it gets really hot. Pretty much. All right. <laughs> you know, you do not leave your car at any time, even if you see a couch that you like on the side of the road. Do not. All right. I mean, if there's a piece of damn ass brownie in there, I'm going for it. I don't know if I can resist. Do not turn around only after the ritual is over, meaning you cannot look behind you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do not go faster than 30 miles an hour. Now, I've seen videos of people going That's faster. That's a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker. You yeah. and me, sir, cannot possibly. It's not human. Exactly. Not Always wear a seatbelt. That one, you know, I okay. guess, you know, they're being nice. Yes. You know. Precaution. Because if you're going into the mouth of the underworld. Yeah. If the, car, <laughs> if the car stalls or loses power, do not, I repeat, do not stop. Let the car keep going until it fully stops on its own and then you can start it okay now you fill up the gas before make sure you have enough gas because if not you're asked out and you're stuck in hell mouth all right now all right this is all stuff you should have told ash to do before he floored it Tell me into the it. mouth of evil when your desire is known the spirit that grants you knows it now Let's get into it. In the first mile, it gets cold. It gets colder. But hey, you put the heat. You put the heat on. Keep it. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Where Second you mile, exactly. Second mile, it gets colder, but the heat stops working. All right. Of then course. Then you start getting sharp turns in the road. You know, rocks and potholes start appearing, meaning that the, the road starts to get really rocky and really treacherous, okay? In the third mile, you start seeing shadows within the trees, okay? Oh, this is you game. don't look, you don't look at the shadows. And, and then the road, all of a sudden, it was all rocky, it will change into a dirt road. Hey, I, I'm just telling you what happens, all right? All right, in the fourth mile, the shadows get closer to you. They start to whisper sweet nothings in your ear, all right? You tune them out. You don't listen to them. If not, they will get closer to you, okay? I think I saw this in Mad Max and the Thunderdome. Well, quite possibly. In the fifth mile, the trees disappear. Then it'll reveal, it'll reveal a clearing where the moon is so bright that you want to touch it. Here is a problem where a lot of people end up dying. Like because they want to touch the moon? They want to touch the moon and they drive the road. When the moon hits your eye like a big right. pizza. So, and it's so bright that it almost blinds you also. So, I mean, hey, whatever. I mean, I would say, so I'd say pay attention to the road and not, you know. So, all right, six mile. No moon. The moon disappears. The lights in the car, the headlights start to flicker on and off. All right? And then the radio will suddenly turn on something mm -hmm horrible that you don't that you did not ask for it to, to be on okay like jazz and a soothing voice will talk about your biggest fears in life don't listen to it because if you do it's bad business a lot of shit i gotta say right now this is a lot of shit to go through i mean it's, it's like going into the freaking treasure trove cast cave and you can't touch the spanish gold you can't touch that one the only thing you can touch is the freaking lamp and Lee's, a lad's going to pop out and be like, fuck you, asshole. Should, should I continue? Oh, please continue. Okay. The seventh mile, shadows, they return. As well as their voices, the whispers, but they're not stop whispering. They're screaming. They're screaming now. They're screaming to the top of their lungs, and they're saying horrible, horrible things. And they're getting closer and closer. And one will get inside the car. Whoa. And will be behind you and will 
you will feel the fetid stench of their breath on your yeah. neck. Oh. Do not, do not look at it or it will paralyze you. These oh, you got my in the car too? It will paralyze you. And These, we're not even up to 11. No. These are the people that have attempted the ritual and failed. They don't want you to achieve the goal. They want to take you off the path. They want to hurt you. They can hurt you. In the eighth mile, you need to slow down with the sharp turns and curves. It gets super cold, and then it gets super hot. You, you're going to want to open the windows, but you cannot open the windows, okay? The shadows are everywhere. The car is stalling. The car is stalling. Or the ninth mile, your car will, will stop fully, okay? Damn. At that moment, you close your eyes and you pray that the car starts again. But remember what we, what we said originally, you must let the car come to a full stop. Now, mind you, you're on a freaking road, okay? Everything's pitch black. The car is off because Clinton Road, I don't know if you, you mentioned, there's no lights. At the length of the road, there's no lights. There's no, there's no, um, no lights. It's a long stretch of road in the U.S. without lights. Exactly. Time. So everything is pitch um, black. Hello, New Jersey. Wake the hell up. Okay. Put some lights up there. Gosh darn. At this point, the shadow and the voices are everywhere. They're clawing at you. They're gnawing at you. And in the tenth mile. The car starts again. Well, actually, after, after the ninth mile, once you do it, once you pray and you freaking close your eyes and you turn the car starts like nothing. Go back. You, you reach the tenth mile. There's no more voices or shadows. It's the calm. It's not cold. It's cold. Hot. Excuse me? It's not cold or hot. It's, everything has normal. Everything seems normal, you know? And you look in the back, and you will, and, and if you look at the rear view, you will see the um, shadows in the distance. You know, and you leave, and you're like, oh. Well, so this is like a rite of passage to gain the treasure. The eleventh mile, the car will, will will turn on and the power again. The 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 you will see a glowing red light ahead, where you're near the end goal. You're near the end. Right? You close your eyes and you cover your ears and you keep them shut and you just keep driving. 31 seconds, they're the most painful of your life. Why 31? I don't know. But, you know, it, it's it, it, the most painful of your life. You feel everything. Screaming voices and noises everywhere and you cannot stop or block it. Cold. It gets cold. Then it turns to burning heat. It seems like your skin will melt off your bones. You keep your eyes closed no matter what. So since so you're driving with your eyes closed, you know, so... Um, if you made it this far, I have to come into a dead stop in the middle of the highway after seeing shadows, freezing temperature, burning hot temperature, um, your worst fears, car shuts off completely, starts up again miraculously, and now you okay. have to endure this. Yes. Which are Essentially, you're driving through a portion of hell. Okay. And so now we're at the road's end. You finished. Your car will start again. After after a stop, after the whole freaking now, thing, you know. Is there a signage on the side that says, uh, after you finish 11, that says uh, Bill Gates was here? No. No. You close your eyes and you think about what you wanted. Once you visualize what you truly wanted and what you and everything you went through to get there, you open your eyes again. Like so. You will get whatever you desired. Either it will be next to you, either it will be in the trunk, or when you get home, an Amazon box will be there and you'll be like, hey, it's like what you wanted. 
and that is <laughs> eleven mile challenge. Now, um, I know we prefaced this episode by saying that we would not provide you with uh, devil worship and satanic ritual instructions, uh, but Izzy just did. Yes. And so uh, I apologize Perfect. for that. Verbatim. <laughs> I would like to thank uh, the people who are researching from, which I should have. Well, we should cite them, but you, we you, take no. You, you can Google it. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure you get a you get a nice wiki. If you decide to travel down and take the Clinton Road Challenge all by your lonesome, remember, by yourself, limited cell phone usage, with all the stipulations that Izzy just said. Please, kindly, if you conclude the 11 mile challenge and your wishes are granted, beseech you, I beg you, reach out to us and let us know this happened. Send us your documentation. We have no problem putting you on. We even interview as a guest. It would be amazing. Now, I, we ourselves are trying to coordinate our um, individual agendas and, and actually count. We will be making an appearance at Clinton Road very soon. Well, yeah, when we can get down there, and we that will before Halloween, so you know we will try our damn to do it. Obviously, we'll be violating the first uh, rule of all this is that there's going to be two of us, possibly three or four, um, and we will be videotaping the entire event. Uh, hell, we might go live. Either way, there's been too many people that have cited incidents, anecdotes, scary anecdotes, freaked out shit. Yeah. People have went to great lengths to just write this entire 11 mile sequence. I mean, with everything, can also be, can, everything can also be debunked in a way. And, and I know we, we've kind of yeah. been kind of saying it. Uh, like you know, we believe it at the same time, kind of poking fun at it. But all right, like a lot of things they say, it's there. It's it, there. It, People know about it. This is not an isolated. Oh, this happened on Elm Street down the block five miles away. This is real. This is a good number of people who have documented, as we just went through, everything in the kitchen sink from mobsters dump off places for dead bodies to the clan to animals ufos a boy with coins a death challenges your deepest darkest desires a travel through hell you know what where there's smoke there's gotta be some fire hey man if it quacks like a duck it smells like a duck it looks like a duck it's probably a duck and with quack. that quack Black. And with that, you know, we bid you adieu. In the spirit of Halloween, and good luck to you trucking down Clinton Road. I'm Raka. I'm Izzy. We are the Dead Air Dudes, filling the void. Good luck to you all. Save the whales. Save the whales. Stay safe, everybody. Take care.